So today I'm going to show you how to calculate the energy released by a burning wood chip. So the first thing I need to do for this is set up my apparatus. So set up a retort stand to hold a boiling tube. Keep the um, boiling tube quite low and because you, you have an evaporating basin and it should be high enough that you can just slide that in or out. The next first thing I'm going to do is take a boiling chip or take a wood chip and weigh it. So you'll have a pair of tweezers for moving it. I've already teared the scale so it's reading 0, 0.00 and I'll pop that in. So the weight of our wood chip at the start, you will have a data sheet with the method and a results table that you can fill this information in. So the weight is 0 0.79 grams going to lift the wood chip and put it near the Bunsen burner. So the next part of the experiment is to measure out your water. So I've got a 10 mil measuring cylinder and I'm just going to measure out 10 milliliters. You can use standard tap water for this. I'm just using deionized water because the sink's quite far away. Once you've got the 10 milliliters, pour it into your boiling tube. I'd have to knock the last drop or two out and add your thermometer. We need to recall the temperature both at the start and the end of the experiment. So while I'm waiting for that to get ready and the temperature to settle, it will take a couple of minutes. I'm also going to fill a beaker of water half full. That's basically my safety net. If anything, if the chip is burning or starts to break, you can set it, it will be safe if you set it down on the heat proof mats, but you can also dip it into water. And at the end, to cool it down before I re-weigh it, I'll have to dip it into the water. Just checking my temperature. It's reading 13 degrees at the moment. While I'm waiting for it, I'll just put on safety goggles, ready for the next step, and ensure that the air vent in my Bunsen burner is closed, so there's a nice yellow safety flame. The temperature is still sitting at 13 degrees, so I'm happy that that's the temperature at the start, and I'll just record that. So now I'll just light the Bunsen burner. Nice yellow safety flame. The problem with the safety flame is that it's not very hot. So I'll lift my wood chip with my tweezers and I'll close the air vent so that I've got a blue safety open it, sorry, open it so I've got a blue safety flame. Now hold your wood chip in. You can hopefully see that it's starting to set a light, but don't finish just yet, keep holding it there. See when I take it out, the flame goes. So keep holding it in the flame till the thing is alight. So I'm happy that's alight. I'll turn it back to my safety flame. Very, very carefully now I'm gonna set this down. I find it slightly easier if I edge it. put the it into the way boat and now I'll just move my boiling tube down so it's just above. So I'll just move the camera so you can see this part in closer detail. The boiling tube is right above the flame but there's still about an inch gap. That's just to allow the air in for the flame to burn. Every now and again, I'll just swirl it and watch the temperature rising. So, so far it's nearly at, you can't see it from the camera, but it's nearly at 35 degrees. You can see the flame is starting to go out, but that's not the temperature, the experiment completely finished. There's still heat coming off there. You can even see a bit of smoke rising. I'll just keep monitoring the temperature. It's up to 41, 
The end point of the reaction is when the temperature no longer rises or starts to decrease. So it's still rising, it's up to 42 now. Yeah, I think that is the end point, 42. I'll just leave it a couple of minutes to see if it starts to come down. It is, it's starting to come down. So I'll just record that as my end point once I put the camera back down. So 42 degrees was the end temperature. And finally, if I lift the boiling tube back up a bit so I can slide my evaporating dish. It's still very, very hot. So I'll just dip it into water. It will sizzle a bit, shake it, gently above the water to try and remove as much of the, any water that's formed and then I'll pop it back on the weight or on the balance and the end weight is 0.38 grams so basically um, I will now stop the video and I'll show you how to do the calculations in a separate one you can just turn off your flame um, you'll also be asked to do a couple of replicates, so you'd do that before you'd f turn off your flame. But if you were repeating it, you'd just tip this out, also give the boiling tube a bit of a rinse to make sure that the outside of it is cool, and then set up again ready to repeat the experiment.